Hi guys, today our lesson is going to be on inequalities. We will be talking about the different symbols that denotes inequalities. For warm up, you solved um, equations. Inequalities is about solving inequalities is exactly like solving equations. You apply the same rules, but you're dealing with inequalities, and which means you're dealing with more than one value for the solution and not just exactly one, like in solving equations. Anyway, to solve inequalities, the four symbols that you need to remember are greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, and less than or equal to. And there are two phrases that you may want to remember. They are at least, which means that amounts that you have are more, right? Like you have at least five candies, which means you have five candies or more than five candies. So the symbol to represent that would be greater than or equal to. And the other symbol, or sorry, the other phrase would be at most, meaning that amount that you have or less. So you would say something like, oh, I would like to have at most two chocolate bars, which means you want to have only two maximum. So you could have less than or equal to two, right? So just like I said, the symbol is going to be less than or equal to. And another thing to remember in solving inequalities is the solution set. Okay? Solution set means a set of numbers for the variable. Okay? Set of numbers for the variable that it represents. Okay, great. Now let's take a first example. Let's say we have something like x greater than or equal to 3. If we say x is greater than or equal to 3, what could the solution set be for x? Meaning, what could the answer be for x? So x could be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Right? Great. So it includes 3, or above. Now, how do we graph the solution set? We are not going to draw a whole big coordinate plane to draw this graph, but we're going to draw a simple number line to draw this graph. Of course, there is zero, and on the right of the number line are our positive numbers, and on the left are our negative numbers. We're drawing our little ticks, and we're going to label our number line and then on the negative side as well. Great, we're almost nearing it. Okay, there you have. Now, the values of x could be 3 included, and then 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, up to infinity. Now, how do we show? Great, here is 3, but how do we show that we have to include this value? We are going to shade in this and make it a solid circle or a filled circle to show that 3 is included. And of course, the numbers greater than 3 are over here, right? So we're going to draw a line to the right and put an arrow, saying that the numbers, everything including 3 and above, are going to go, or the solution set. Does that make sense? Let's try one more example. Now, let's say the second example is x less than 5. So what could the solution set be? The solution set could be x is equal to, uh, let's say negative five, guys, just to make, you know, just to draw a graph on the other side of the number line too. So the solution set will not include negative five because it's x is less than negative five. So it would be negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, and so on. Great, now how do we graph this? Again, our good old number line. We're drawing a zero, little ticks. I'm going a little faster. And I'm going to label it. There you go. The other side as well. 
we need our solution set to be here. Okay, great. Now, we have x is less than negative 5, which means we have to tell everybody that negative 5 is not included, but it has to start in negative 5. Now, how do we do that? We are going to draw a open circle. Notice that I did not close it. And I'm going to go left and an arrow. It is not a solid circle. It's a open circle. Whereas this is a solid circle because it included the point. Does that make sense, guys? I hope I'm clear. Yeah? Great. So with this in mind, we are going to go on next to solve a inequality using one operation. So let me quickly change to another paper. Here we go. So let's say, for example, we have um, x plus 5 greater than 3. Let's say we have this inequality. How do we solve this inequality? If it was a equal to here, how would you solve this equation? You apply the exact same rules. You would do, oh, I have to subtract 5 on both sides. Right? So you end up with x greater than negative 2. Okay, awesome. Now all you have to do is graph it. So your solution set is everything, x is going to be everything greater than negative 2. So your solution set on the number line is going to be a open circle. I'm remembering that because it's only greater than but does not include negative 2. And then everything above that. So you're going this way and you can darken the line so sure. And then put an arrow. Does that make sense? Now another cool trick guys. Just pick anything from here. Let's say I'm going to pick 2. Okay. The In the shaded region. Okay. I'm going to pick a value 2. Substitute that for x. Is 2 greater than negative 2? Oh, yeah, it is, right? So, yes, that belongs in the solution set. And just because one number is right, we don't want to trust it, right? Let's try one more number, but this time outside of the shaded region. Let's try negative 6. Is negative 6 greater than negative 2? Uh-uh, it is not. So, that is not a solution set. So, I guess we did our math right. Yeah? So now using this idea, you guys are going to work on your workbook, page 69. You're going to work on this page. You're going to work on page 69, and you're going to work on page 70. And I will be back with another screencast or a video to show you the answers. Yeah? All right. I'm going to give you about 10 minutes to solve this. Okay, see you in 10 minutes.